Gamers, what is up? Hyperkind here. Gonna be doing a Let's Play recording for Assassin's Creed 3. Now, I know this is an extremely long title. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to complete this. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. But pretty much we're gonna be jumping into the campaign and taking off right from the start. So, you know what? Let's get this American Revolution going. Um, now, everybody, if you don't know, as just like the last Let's Play, I am doing this live on Twitch TV at the same time. So if you guys want to see this happening live in action, head on over to twitch.tv slash hyperkind and you can check this out. All right, let's see what's going to happen. When people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The Apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization the ones who came before. A precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name, is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Well, that was interesting. All right, let's get the shindig going. Zanek, what's up? Roots, heated, gig, what's up, guys? Is here a cave really you took me to a cave let's go well ain't you just the friendliest person in the world all right it is not a nice cave 
It is dusty and dirty and dripping with water and graffiti right there. It is not a nice cave. Apparently, Giga was carrying something. I'm like the most important person there. Alright. In another moment, down went Alice after it. Never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Oh, here we go. What? This is new. Wait, wait, what? I was just back there. What gives? Hello? Why are you not paying attention to me? Why? Fine, be like that. Cyanide, what's up? Scoop of Steve, what's up, man? I think we're here. Oh, I gotta see how they're gonna get down here. Oh, come on, people. You can make it. How's that? They just send me down the pit with, like, no way to get back up. Assholes. Alright, I, I see how it is. You know what? Screw you, people. I'm running away. Oh, so they just magically teleport down there, don't they? The fuck is that? As bad as this might be, I probably should have finished the other Assassin's Creed be before hopping into this game. I don't know what the hell is going on. I started them. I'm gonna admit this now. I'm gonna admit this. I'm gonna admit this now. I've never finished any of the other ones. I'm gonna finish this one. The key. Mate. You must find the key. What key? Lady, where'd you go, son? Sir. Whoa! What? Here we go again. So he knows what's happening and he, he just passes out. Do you hear us? I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay. So instead of taking me to a hospital, you throw me into a dangerous machine. Danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to risk severing the connection. Dude. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. <laughs> That's what I... bats also do to you? <laughs> no, it's fine. I get it. Paul Skull, what's up? what I'm looking for, by the way. No, I don't. No idea where it is, though. I don't see no key around here, dude. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She. Juno, Dad. Key. She's talking to me. Oh, come on. Okay, Desmond. Where the hell am I going? Well, you were uh, 
visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. Okay. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk Whoa. to the marker over there. All right. Wait, do we gotta walk? Can I just run? I'm gonna run. There we go. Okay, Jason, Jump! Let's practice climbing on these objects. All right, you can make it. Go, 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 go! Hey, right. what the hell? Oh, there we go. I give this good credit, man. Rerun your way through this little obstacle course. Oh, this is a freaky obstacle course, man. I want whatever Desmond has. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. Perform an air assassination? All right, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Da -da -da. Dead. Ah, I messed up. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Dude, no! Why'd you kill yourself, Desmond? You fucking asshole. Dude, he like choked the guy out and he walks over the ledge. Are you kidding me? That is some bullshit right there, man. Strong finger muscles. Yeah. I'm so shocked that he just like chokes the guy out and then it's like, you know what? I can't take this anymore. I'm done. Just walks off the freaking ledge, man. Synchronization levels look good now. You should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Full synchronization. All right, let's go. Interesting. Pretty much, Scuba. It's like, dude, I hate my job. Dude, uh, that is an awesome hat. Everything all right, sir? No, everything yes. is not okay. Fine. I'm just preoccupied. That's all. Don't forget your invitation. Dude, how does he? How does he come up with the accent out of nowhere? Thank you. Where shall I retreat you once you're done? It's like nobody notices that. About. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Oh no, never mind. I I I become somebody in that time timeline, right? Or in that time period? Never mind. Forget that. All right, start mission. Invitation, please. It's like, dude. Shall I take your coat? I don't need no invitation. I have a hat. Oh no, the hat. It was in the hat. Never mind. His father was a terrible Ladies and gentlemen. Why don't you, you look bitchy? To kindly find your seat. Where is my seat? Oh, fast walk. Let's go. Why is this fancy? Good evening, sir. This way, please. Talking to me? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Just passing by. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Excuse me. No touching, man. No touching. Let me, let me, let me through. All right. Evening, Haytham. Reginald. Hey, buddy. I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. They mounted it? Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. 
I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. He has daddy issues. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Um. What the hell? Okay, that was. That's pretty damn good, dude. The stairs are watched. Um, no, I'm gonna switch to something else also. Ooh, I get to kill somebody already. I already have. Black Maul at Set Word of Trial comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. As the wench is very active and industrious, oh. you may satisfy her. Excuse me, sir. A thousand pounds. Excuse me, ma'am. Passing by. Apologies. Up, oh, sit down, buddy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come with you. Okay. Since it'd be suspicious to just jump it. How, how is this, like, not. Like, how is this secluded? Whatever. Oh wow, like nobody's gonna notice me up here. Ooh, hey baby. Oh! That's what everybody does and Oh, look at that. Look at him go. It's okay dude, there's no rate back then. Oh! <laughs> Damn! She wants the D, man. Alright, that guy's getting lucky tonight. Alright. Anybody else getting freaky in this place? Dude, these people ain't even paying attention, man. That's so rude talking during a play. That guy fell asleep right there. I think I should have to wake him up. She's like, hey, wake up! Look at that, more people talking during a play. <sighs> Dude, these people have no manners at all, man. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this just screams something bad's gonna happen. Ah! Really, how does nobody notice somebody climbing up? Wearing a. Wearing like a giant cape. He's like Batman of the Renaissance area. Era. Area? What the hell? Alright. Oh, it was almost night time. Dude, did the guy say something was burning? Alright. Random, what's up, dude? 